beautiful day here in Winter Park, and you're watching the morning show right here on Channel 18. Uh, big things going on. Uh, I'm going to be kicking it with Mike Turner. Another Super Tuesday is behind us, Mike. What's new? Super Tuesday. <laughs> it's that time of the year that I turn off the TV and start listening to music as I eat my morning Cheerios because we're about to hit political ad season, not my favorite time of year. I Four will time of say that we don't have a lot of political ads on TV 18. So. Uh, there are none. So, right. So, watch the morning show right here on Channel 18. Although Jerry is out there trying to get us some political dollars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we will probably have some politicians. No, there's some cool stuff actually in the political, local political election coming up. And I think people should kind of know mm -hmm. about what's going on. The mayor race in Frazier, Peggy yep. and Philip. So, Peggy Smith, Philip. Yeah, Peggy's the current mayor, and then Philip will be running. Yeah, so Philip's challenging Peggy, and uh, Philip's been on the town uh, board for a while. So, you know, two, two great locals, yeah, and uh, exactly. you know, you wish you could have them both, both yeah. in the spot. But the hot one is going to be Grampy. There's like five people going for mayor in Grampy. Three. Jerry's giving me the three. <laughs> so I, I, I might throw I my name it was in the hat. Five. I might throw my name. I in think the hat. I'm going you know, for it cool. too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure five. how much that pays, but yeah. Um, Maybe. Yeah, so like I think there is four though technically. So um, yeah, so that's a good one. There's a mayor race runoff in uh, Grand Lake as well with uh, um, long time mayor um, blanking. I've interviewed Judy her. Burke. Judy Burke, thank you, Judy. I'm sorry, Judy. <laughs> Judy and I actually know each other. I'm just having a blank moment. Sure, you know. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. So the mayor race is pretty good, and then you know we've had some discourse in our county government. So, you know, it'd be interesting to see what happens in, in all of those elections. Political excitement aside, it's been gorgeous. On, absolutely, Doug. absolutely gorgeous to ski. I mean, the weather has been wonderful. We've had lots of sun. We've started getting the snow. It seems to have found us again. You know, we had a nice yeah. little pop of six spring, inches uh, a few March. days ago. And uh, did you get out there? Springtime is my favorite time. Well, actually, there? I just got back from a vacation. So, uh, no, I did a, not. But. And it was... Wine country. We were like sipping some wine. Yeah, cruising I a Kia Sedona around with three couples and nice. uh, yeah, yeah, taking down a fair amount of wine. So it was a wonderful trip. But, nice. Uh, but we're back at it. Come on, March give us is a little here. more. You can't just flave out. March is on the that best ski season, thing. huh? You can't flave out on the wine thing and not give us a little more. What? Well, nobody got arrested. Okay, yeah. no arrest. That's good. <laughs> you know, it the wasn't like was... the hangover where you woke up with like no. a tiger in your room or anything, right? No, 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 nothing okay, crazy good. like that. It's actually pretty tame. It was you got up every morning, went for runs in the wine fields at you know 60 degrees and sunny. I was just perfect. So wow. Awesome. Take awesome. a, a little, as always, you need a little break from uh, the January, February. We have a long winter here. So it's nice to get a little break before we come back to March when the days are longer, the sun's shining, the trails are slushing up a little. It's just beautiful time of year. So my favorite time to ski, March and April. So awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, it is. It's my favorite time, too. You were looking at me like uh, you're done with skiing. I thought maybe you announced a retirement. No, I did not announce my retirement. Actually, it's uh, life is looking up again in our world and uh, some stuff's happening on the forefront. So. Spe speaking of the resort, got we got it. Kelly Mace on the show. He's a, a representative for the Village at Winter Park Resort. So uh, it's always yeah. fun to hear. Uh, Kelly's a great cat. You know, Love springtime is great for skiing, but it's also great for just the social life at the resort. There's endless concerts and activities and, you know, restaurants and happy hours. It's just a great time when you can sit outside in the sun and have a frozen margarita at Lime. And I mean, life is good, totally. you know? Yep, yep. And so yeah, uh, that would be fun to a, chat with him. They're bringing an um, Irish band to play. St. Paddy's Day, Paddy's. right? They'll be having a party. It's, it's Saturday Day. before. It's actually not on St. Paddy's because St. Paddy's is midweek. Midweek, yeah. Year, right. So, so they, they kind of focus on the weekend crowd because yeah, that's exactly. when we're really popping. So. But that'll be a fun little party for them. Yeah, they're always doing something in the village. Pretty cool. Great restaurants up there. Got a buddy. We have a mutual buddy that opened a new one, Vertical. Yep. Tim Got to get in. Check it out. That Oak Chili. Deli Elk is a, Chili. Elk Chili. And uh, yeah, the small plates. I can't remember the name of the burger, but the burger's phenomenal. And so um, check them out. But uh, I think we're going to step to the other end of the county and chat with... Uh, Jeff Duke from the Rocky Mountain Repertory Theater uh, over in Grand Lake. And so uh, pretty awesome to talk to those guys. They got all their new lineup announced for the summer for the plays that they're going to, or musicals they're going to be showing. And it is world-class, state-of-the-art. I mean, this is professional talent level. I mean, this is not local yokels putting on plays. <laughs> no, I mean, not to knock the local talent, but uh, you no, know, this no, is, it's, I mean, you people, go to the shows and you are, feel like you're on Broadway. I mean, people, it is people that People like level. would be blown away. I mean, if you ever get to the theater downtown and, um, like the Buell or any of those, these guys push the envelope. Mm -hmm. And they bring them like from them. all over the country. And it's a tiny town yeah. with a big theater. Yeah. So it's amazing. I mean, amazing. It's, amazing. So, it's rad. So that's so, uh, that'll be exciting. So if you've never been to a show, highly recommend checking it out. RockyMountainRep.com. Yeah. 
and um, yeah, check it out. I've done a bunch. I hang out. I've hung out and sponsored the Rap Theater for many years, and so I get to do artist spotlights with them. So I hang out backstage, and I'm always like filming and getting interviews with them, and and they just bring in some really awesome people. So. And I, I work till you know three, four o'clock every day. So obviously, I'm not skiing seven days a week like I'd like, but there are other activities. We're gonna have Keith Sanders on to talk about one of my personal favorites because I'm on my bike six to seven days a week year round. Even in the winter, I'm biking to work. And so- uh, You're that guy. I'm, the, I'm one of those. You're yeah. that guy. Myself and Fernand, I see owner you. of the sushi exactly. bar. You know, you're gonna we see, see both of us guy. out there once it's in a while. It's a blizzard and you're out there with Touring the goggles. around with my studded tires, you know, yeah. So so Keith's got, gonna have a talk, come talk fat bikes with us, which is awesome. I think it's- Do you a, have a bike like, I mean like- Keith's, No, I don't have a fat like bike Because like he's yet. got like- yeah, we're talking wow. five. These aren't just right chubby tires. These are fat, but it's a whole the different sport. The fattest tires I've ever seen. It's yeah. like it's crazy. Not yeah. the fattest I've ever seen because I've actually On seen the bike. big, big ones. Yeah, but um, but yeah, but so like he runs four pounds of pressure in it. He was telling me. Yeah, and like there, then the tire squish, spread squish, when the tire that's your shock, you know? when the tire spreads out, there's like twelve inches of surface. Yeah, it's so uh, pretty cool. It's awesome. He's I'm renting them. He's selling all. them. I mean, it's become quite a sport up here. You see people all over the trail system, the snowmobile trails, and the cross country ski. It's trails. a little freaky deaky for me. I'm just not there. <laughs> just saying, like, do you do a lot of mountain biking? Uh, no, I'm the dirt bike guy. You got to put oh, a motor on the deal, and I will you're a gearhead. I'm kind of no, I'm a gearhead. I'm human powered. So like, as we've got a motor, I'm ripping it. But always funny. He's kind of our local no, gear grew, guide for the day. So I fun to have up. Keith on the show uh, with Beaver Riding Sports, uh, which is located right downtown Winter Park here. And then, of course, I think we're going to swing in uh, my favorite section or part of every show is not every uh, show, but occasionally we get to get out when for I some get food. to throw a little food into my mouth. And so we're going to stop into New Hong Kong so I can. Power carb before I get out there and ski. We have this awesome Chinese restaurant right here in yeah. Cooper Creek Square. Top and floor, they're right up on top. A little bit hissy, like you gotta want it. Yeah. But I always, you know, if you want Chinese, you'll surf it out. And what's this your, one's a good one. What's your favorite dish? I kind of go with the shrimp with garlic sauce, That's right? Like, makes, I like a little That makes heat. two of us, man. It's I like the heat. So and, good, yeah. And it's got full of veggies. I, so. I, I, I love the loaded veggies in my, uh, yeah. my stir fry. So uh, yeah, shrimp with garlic sauce. That's my pick as well. So endorsed times two. But well, with that, we better uh, shoot Time off to the break, uh, and I think we're going to have Keith pop in. So Yeah, we're going to do the fat bike thing with Keith. Beaver Sports Shop right yeah. here in Winter Park, right by Best Western. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have Keith Saunders with uh, Beaver Sports Shop right here in Winter Park.